everybody, I'm Mike Larson. And I'm Sean Klein. What we're going to talk about today is treating sales like a job. The reason I'm successful, the reason I've gotten to where I am, is I treat it like a job. I mean, you, if you go to work for somebody else, they expect you to work 40 hours a week, don't they? So if you're going to go work to your, for yourself, why would, you, why would you do anything different? If you're going to make more money than you would working for somebody else. But the biggest problem people have when they get into sales is, is what we call freedom. They have this freedom and they don't know how to handle it. And they, want, they think about all these things they want to do rather than work and they wind up doing those and not working. And then they wonder why their bank accounts are always It's the double-edged sword. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, it could be a great thing, it could be a horrible thing, you know? So we have got to be able to have the mindset. <laughs> it always goes back to mindset. Always back to mindset. mindset. Yep. You have to have the mindset to treat it like a job. There's no difference here. If you guys are coming into this career working with us because you have this idea that you're hardly going to be able to work, you're still going to make all this money, you're dead wrong. Okay? Everyone who makes it in this business puts in at least the 40 hours. And I can tell you right now, Mike and I put in a heck of a lot more than that. Okay? And we'll, we're going to lead by example. And you'll see that happen in real life. If you were going to give 40 hours to somebody else, why wouldn't you do it for yourself? There's nobody more important in this world than you. Without you, all the rest of your family and all your other friends become insignificant. You gotta look out for yourself. You gotta be consciously and intentively looking out for you so you can better serve the people in your lives. First of all, we're gonna talk about mindset again and again and again. We're gonna keep rolling over that because that's very important. We're gonna talk about a, a two of three in this also. Mm -hmm. It helps you keep focused on working and it's all about discipline. And we're gonna talk about the hours of every day, how you should spend your hours, how you should spend your week, and what kind of mindset you should always have for yourself, and the type of numbers you should be producing all the time. Are you putting in 40 hours, or are you working 40 hours? There's a big difference. Somebody says, well, I put in 40 hours a day. Well, what were you doing while you were there? I mean, were you eating lunch? Were you watching Facebook? What were you doing? Or were you actually doing what you need to do to work? And that's very important. Do it for yourself. You don't have to do it for anybody else. Do it for yourself. This is your opportunity to create your own business, to work for yourself, to have everything that you want, but you have to have this one. First of all, you have to have the mindset. You have to have the drive to do it. When the why is big enough, the how comes easy. Mm -hmm. Are you being busy or are you being productive? Big question to ask yourselves. Are you busy or are you productive? I can go all day doing stuff that makes me seem like I'm real, real busy, but was actually productive. Did I make any money? Did I impact anyone else's lives? Did I serve any other person? What was the positive outcome of all of my activity throughout that day? We will dial in the proper activity, okay? Um, we clearly lay that out with the two out of three day, which Mike just mentioned, okay? The two out of three day lays it out simple for you. But you guys need to have strict goals set for yourselves. Treat this like a job. You know, you should be at your first appointment or at your first door by 10 a.m. at the latest. And you need to have the mindset that if I'm not there at 10 a.m., I'm late to my job. And if I'm late to my job enough, I'm gonna get fired. That's what's gonna happen. If you aren't at your first appointment or at your first door by 10, then you're gonna start building a bad habit and it's gonna get later, later, later. And you may not get fired, so to speak, but you're gonna to go to the point where you're not making any money, you're gonna to have to quit. And when you quit working for yourself, you have just fired yourself. You actually fired yourself because you didn't treat it like a job, you didn't have activity, you didn't take it seriously. Nobody's gonna fire you in this job, your bank account's gonna fire you. Yeah. It's, when that bank account is at zero and you have no way of bringing it up, you haven't bought leads and you're not putting the time in. And when, I, when we talk about time, you're not sleeping until 11 o'clock. You're working for yourself. The most successful people in this world are getting up at 5 a.m. every morning and they're, and they're getting the little things they need to get done out of the way right now. They have breakfast, they're working out. They're getting all those little things they need to get done. I call it the 20-80 rule. 20% of what you do gets you 80% of the results. The problem is most people spend their time on the 80% that only gets 20% of the results. You get the things that are gonna get you the best results out of the way first. I always do that right away in the morning. Uh, there was a great saying that uh, if you eat a frog in the morning, that's the worst thing that could possibly happen to you. The rest of the day is gonna go great. <laughs> so make sure that you do the things that you hate worst, the things you have to do that you hate the most to do in the morning, because that's probably the ones you're gonna get the most results out of and going to work to work, once you get good at the things you hate to do, that becomes your superpower. And when you take the time to do it, when you put the time in to do it, the rest of the day goes very easy for you. And you have to keep that mindset all along. We were just talking about Grant Cardone. For seven years, 96% of the businesses fail. 
The other 4% that actually make it through the first seven years, only about half of them actually make money. And Grant Cardone made this, this point. Entrepreneur is the hardest job in the world. If you put the time in, it's very rewarding. But most people don't want to put the time in because they are working for themselves. Grant Cardone says that most, most of the entrepreneurs out there would be better off going to work for somebody else because then they're forced to work and they'll actually make more money. The entrepreneurs that actually make it learn how to have a big enough why that the how comes easy and they actually put the time in. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to hear what I did when I very first got started. I was working at the car dealership, like I mentioned earlier, and they were forcing me to show up at 7 o'clock at night, and they forced me to stay there until 6, and if the employees that were underneath me didn't show up, I had to stay there until 7, or I didn't have a job. I took that same mentality and that same structure and I put it right into insurance sales, okay? I got up in the morning, I was at my first door at 9.30, and I did not stop until what we call dark 30. So in the middle of the summer, that would be 8 o'clock, 8.30 at night. It did not matter, that was what my schedule was Monday through Thursday. So I didn't take the freedom that this job can offer you for granted and just, oh, a buddy called and I decided I'm gonna have happy hour or I'm gonna go hit up the golf course. I wasn't able to do that because I had a job to do. I had to be at work, okay? And a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of people will take those opportunities for granted when you're an entrepreneur and you're working in, in independent sales because you can do that. Nobody's gonna fire you. Nobody's gonna scold you. Okay, you're probably going to be okay, but I don't want to hear any complaints about you not making any money when I saw on Facebook that you're at happy hour with the boys at three o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday because you weren't treating it like a job. If you treat it like a job and you listen to what Mike and I are teaching you, we truly believe that this is a four day work week. Okay, it's Monday through Thursday, but you can put in 10 hour days and you're going to put in that 40 hours Monday through Thursday and you're going to enjoy a three day weekend. How many people get that in this world? Not a lot of them. So when Friday, Saturday, and Sunday come, that's when you can hang out with your girls or your boys and do your thing. But up until then, you have a job to do. You need to start it at the right time in the morning. You need to finish at the right time at night. And the activity you take throughout the day needs to be productive activity. You can go to work trying to sell insurance all day. And if you sit in your car on Facebook or Instagram for two of the hours of that day, you just cut yourself big time. Here's another thought. I believe if you work hard, you play hard. Mm -hmm. And you cannot play yes. hard until you've worked hard because you're not going to enjoy it. Yes. You have much more confidence in yourself when you're out with friends, when you've just put in a nice week where you made $10,000. How much more fun is to be out having fun Amen. when you've had that huge week and you got that behind you? Give yourself that gift. Don't, don't be thinking about what's going to happen at the end of the week. Think about how much better the end of the week's going to be when you put the effort in now. Whatever it is that drives you to work hard, you have to find that about yourself. Some people can't work from home. If you're one of those people, find an office. Come to this office. Do that type of stuff. Figure out what it is that gets you to work. What is it that you need in your life that's going to drive you to get out there that day? I, I often attribute this to working out. I don't enjoy working out. Really, I, I guess I kind of do now, but I don't enjoy it enough that I'm just going to go work out. I think about the energy I have to have to be out and do a great job at work, and the energy it takes to do that, I get from working out. And that's my why, so that I, the how comes easy in working out. Business, how are you going to get to your dreams and goals? Make those dreams and goals so important that working is easy. Mm. That's the easy part of it. And you have to enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. But it's going to work to work. It's your two to three. And if you follow that process, you will be successful. When you go to the door, uh, they're going to upset you. They may slam the door in your face sometimes. Uh, you're going to have to get through those because the one that you, you change their life is well worth it. But make the ones that, that don't accept what you're having, make it fun for yourself. Make a game of it. And that makes it much easier to, to go to work and not have to worry about the negative side of things. There's always gonna be negatives in life, but your positives are so big that you can overcome them easily. Yeah, amen to all that. Treat it like a job, work, work, work every day. Never been a successful, lazy person, never made. You wanna enjoy the fruits of your labor, you gotta actually go through the labor. <laughs> so just treat it like a job, have a strong work ethic, constant activity, and we know you'll be successful. And we'll be here for you.
every step of the way. If you're having a tough day, if you're having a tough time getting out there and doing it, yeah. give us a call. You know what? I have those days too, mm -hmm. and I find ways to do it. Sometimes I, I have to call my wife to get her to pump me up, and she does a very good job. Find the person in your life that helps motivate you. If that has to be one of us, we're, we're happy to do that. Work, and work like you would for somebody else. I guarantee you, you'll make more money for yourself if you put the time in and actually work. Oh, and it's so much more gratifying too. Work hard. That's what it boils down to. Yep. So I'm glad you were here. Thank you for joining our video. Have a super fantastic day, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. See you soon.